same thing. I was trying to draw a foul. I accidentally made contact with him, and it was, uh, again, I'm swinging away. Like, he's holding my hip. I don't think, I don't know if any of y'all ever play against nurturers, but he's strong as shit. And so I'm trying to just spin away out of him holding my hip like this, and, and my momentum continues forward and, and hits him. So uh, not quite the the bad situations that I've put my team in before. Um, this wasn't that. Just accidentally made contact with him trying to sell a file. Hey, what would you think about the, the rotation tweaks Steve made, taking, you know, taking Andrew and Loon out of the lineup to start the second half and then not closing with Clay? Uh, I mean, Steve told us that, that in the first day of camp, uh, really, was it the first day of camp? It could have been before camp uh, that, you know, we have a very deep team, and he's going to go with the players that, that are playing well. Um, you know, but, shit, I was minus 15. So, you know, you look at, <laughs> excuse me, you look at our bench, they're all pluses down there. So, um, I probably would have got benched too had I not had had the event not happen because you know it's clear um, we were struggling so and yet you know Clay's plus four uh, on the night so um, it's not something that I'm shocked by because you know you're trying to find a rhythm you're trying to win games and just trying to go with go with the guys that are playing well and producing so I don't look too far into um, who's benched or whatnot. Uh, you're just trying to find lineups that work. And I respect, you know, Steve's calls on that. And your pitch was just asked about the, about the play, and he said um, that brother needs help. What's your response to that? Respect. I still know what my intentions were. But respect. I, I mean, Clay was just talking to us and how he said it was very strange for him not to close and looked visibly upset on the bench. How, I know you're not inside Clay's head, but how does a guy who, how do you, how do you check your, your ego and your pride sometimes in, the, in those moments just for what has to happen to win? Oh, well, I don't think, um, you know, I don't think anyone's overly worried about someone being upset that they're not playing because we're competitors you, and you work ultimately to play these games and put the, a great product on the floor and play great um, because, I mean, that's the job, right? Like, so I don't think anyone's overly worried about someone being upset that they're not playing um, because we're all competitive, you know. But, I mean, as far as ego goes, um, you know, egos always have to be checked on a team because it's a team sport and it's made up of individuals. And, the, you know, the goal is always to make the sum of those parts work together. And, you know, if sometimes it goes better than others. Um, and that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But I think, you know, for Clay, I just and for anybody in this situation, the number one goal for everyone just has to be to win. Um, whether that's you're playing or you're not playing, the number one goal of a team in order for a team to be successful is it has to be to win the game. And you figure out everything else after. But I don't think Clay's ever had to deal with that. And so your first time dealing with that is different, you know? And your reaction, you never know how you're going to react to something like that until you go through it, you know? And so uh, that's foreign territory for Clay. I don't think anyone's mad that he was upset about it. Um, you don't want somebody to just go sit there and like, oh, it don't matter. I'll, you, know, you know, you want guys that's, that's going to compete. Do you expect these lineup decisions, closing decisions to be – more common. I know you're looking at the plus minus tonight, but obviously there's been a lot of trends recently that have kind of led to this moment. Yeah, I think it'll continue for sure. Um, because again, you're just trying to find the lineups that works. Uh, you're trying to find the lineups that that um, 
that ultimately mesh and, mesh and give you the best chance to win. And sometimes that can be uh, like who you're facing as well. You know, some match up, some guys match up differently or better or worse with certain teams. And, you know, so I think that'll, that'll play a role in it too. You know, it's, it's not just, I don't think it's some set in stone thing. Just kind of trying to figure this thing out on the fly. And, you know, the different lineups that you try, if you find one that's working, you go with it. Clearly we did. Um, BP was plus 18. Dario was plus 21. JK was plus 13. CP was plus 12. So, you know, it's not like we're just looking at something and it's like, oh, that didn't make sense. Like, clearly it made sense. Those guys were playing really well. Um, so, I, I don't expect it to be like, oh, one specific thing. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I do expect that whoever's playing best is going to be on the floor. Do you, Last one. Do you, um, you, the league, I assume, will probably reach out to you tomorrow. Do you expect to have a conversation? With yeah, for sure. Um, you know, and I'll have a conversation. And I'll tell them the same thing I told you, you know. Uh, wasn't it? intentional thing. Did I make contact? Yes, of course. We all can see that, but I didn't set out to do a 360 punch. You're going to punch somebody, you turn around and punch. Not a, a 360. So, we'll see. <laughs>